This morning, our portion of scripture is Zechariah 8, verses 20 to 23. Thus says the Lord of hosts, People shall yet come, inhabitants of many cities. The inhabitants of one city shall go to another, saying, Let us continue to go and pray before the Lord and seek the Lord of hosts. I myself will go also. Yes, many peoples and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to pray before the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, In those days ten men from every language of the nations shall grasp the sleeve of a Jewish man, saying, Let us go up with you, for we have heard that God is with you. What Zechariah sees is a massive movement of people. They're moving from cities. They're coming by the families. They're coming all together. They're coming to seek the Lord in Jerusalem. They're looking for the God of peace. Some are Hebrews, some are from many other nations, and they're coming together at the city of peace. So Zechariah, his name is God remembers. So Zechariah says, Ten men from every nation will come and they'll cling onto the, the hand of a Jewish person and say, God is with you. We want to go up with you to seek the Lord. Now, we know historically the Jews did not fulfill the, the covenant requirements. They didn't fulfill the covenant conditions. And of course, the gospel went to the Gentiles in around the 30s AD, 34 AD. So, you know, the Bible tells us that true circumcision is always of the heart. That was never otherwise. So all of us who are seeking God, in a sense, are spiritual uh, leaders. I know this goes against what a lot of people have taught, and just because you teach it all over the airwaves for, for decades and hundreds of years doesn't mean it's true. We go by what the Bible says. But anyway, the picture here is a beautiful picture of people seeking God, people from every different nation, and they want to go with God's people. They want to be among God's people. Certainly you or I, whatever our, whatever our ethnicity, whatever our DNA we want to be uh, among God's people. We want to be doing what God wants and following him. And so Zechariah sees this beautiful picture of people coming together, coming together to seek the Lord God, to pray to the Lord God. And so we, we would rejoice to see when that day comes. So we want to be alert. We want to be watchful. We want to be on the move to know what is God doing. Uh, no, most of the time, basically never will it be on the mainstream news. It's never going to be a subject of their interest, or if they know about it, they won't be anxious to report about it. Uh, there's kind of a permanent divide between God's created order and the new created order that they think they're doing right now in the world. So, uh, but you know what? We don't look to the mainstream news to see what God is doing. We look to the Bible. We look to the, the lives of our friends and, and the people who are seeking the Lord, people who are newly coming to him day by day. So we are looking for God's things, and we're watching for that, and we want to be part of it, and this is, a, this is an important time in the history of the planet. No, you won't see it on the main news, of course not, but let's be faithful, and God will bless. Mm -hmm.